Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marcel. For today's video, I'm doing another mystery bundle unboxing from Depop. Today's mystery box is a themed bundle. It is actually a Harry Potter themed bundle. Hot to pot, so yeah. And it is designated to my official Harry Potter house, which is... <laughs> Slytherin, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know. To be honest, I was always a Luna Lovegood fan. She's absolutely my favorite character. However, I did start noticing that I do tend to be attracted to the color green. And this mystery bundle was all about bringing some green, some snakes, embellishments, opulence. I moved the camera so I can show you this Depop bundle ad. So Slytherin mystery bundle, or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make real friends. Those cunning folk use any means to achieve their end. Okay, I actually have to be honest with you guys. I, I have never read a single Harry Potter book. Unfortunately, I was just like a little too old when those books started coming out. Like my friends were seniors in high school and they were dressing up and going to Barnes and Noble and trying to get the book. And I was like trying to get a boy to like me. So I did make fun of them, but don't think I'm like a bully because they were definitely friends that made fun of me. And obviously here we are, I like Harry Potter too. However, I've only seen the movies. My boyfriend made me watch all the movies the first year we started dating and they mean a lot to him. So now I've seen them a lot. I've seen the movies a lot, more than I need to. My favorite thing about Harry Potter has to be the Wizarding World at Universal Studios in California. It's a really great theme park area. I'm not a theme park person either, but it's the funnest one I've been to so far. And I love the experience. It was very immersive and I love the rides. And we got this wand. Anyway, let me keep reading this bundle. So her ad is, I will pick five clothing items in this genre. This will be a curated box drawing upon guidelines, preferences within the style of clothing. It will be Slytherin themed, which means it could include things in silver, green, snake, motifs, the idea of opulence or majesty, a little bit of dark or emo feeling items, or things that signify cunning or determination. Prices can be negotiable depending on what you want in your box. And then before buying, she asked that I include my measurements, what I absolutely don't want, and what I do like, and my Instagram or Pinterest. So I basically said, hi, I'm interested in getting this box. I'm a new Slytherin. I took that Pottermore quiz. I was shocked that I was Slytherin, but then I told my friend who's also in Harry Potter, who's also a Slytherin, he's like, you're obviously Slytherin. It's like ridiculous that you would be shocked about that. And I thought about it for a while and I was like, yeah, I guess I haven't read the book, so I don't really like know the deep details, but I mean, I'm not evil. I'm just, I'm just, you know, anyway. <laughs> I'm a good person. And I included my measurements, my bust, my natural waist, my lower waist, my hips, and then that I usually wear a large or extra large top, 12 and 14 in pants and dresses. I'm 5'9 with a 34 inch, 32 inch inseam. I realize it's 34, but like for pants, 32 is like the longest they could be, I guess. And then a size 10 shoe and no ears pierced because the last time they gave me earrings and I was like, that's silly. Why didn't I tell them that I don't have my ears pierced? This is what I said I don't want it. I don't want anything too revealing around the tummy area or back or too short. Maybe avoid button up tops unless they're perfect. I just like, it's hard enough for me to find them. I don't need it. some stranger who's never met me or seen me before trying to find one for me. I said no grandma styles, but grandpa styles, welcome. Grandma styles is basically, I didn't want anything with like frilly collars or like, but I'm definitely into grandpa styles, like a baggy pant or like a blazer or things like that. And then I said garment wise, I have no guidelines. I love special pieces. So if you have to include fewer items to get something really dope, I'd be happy. Interested in dresses, statement pieces, anything that can be described as chic. Statement pants with prints are fun. Her name is Frosted Gemstones. I'll put her account up here. She has tons of Depop bundles, like different themed Depop bundles. So you should definitely check it out if you end up liking anything I get in here. I do have to be honest, you guys. I got two Depop packages yesterday. One was this big chunky sweater and the other one was this. This was supposed to come today. So I thought the thing that I opened was this big chunky sweater and the big chunky sweater was actually in a recycled Amazon bag. So I thought that was just something from Amazon that I ordered, but actually the bag I opened was my Mystery Depot bundle. So I did open it. I didn't look through it. I saw peaks. There's lots of green. There's some snake print. I didn't open up and see what they were. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I was so bummed when I saw like this sea of green and I was like, no, the surprise has been killed. 
but let's get into this mystery pop bundle opening I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna try on some stuff maybe try to style it a little bit see what fits okay let's get to this unboxing I am excited to actually look at what these pieces are as you can see I had to put it in the other Amazon package it was a disaster. I didn't have any other place to put it. So it's just been sitting in this half open bag and I've been seeing a little bit of green peeking out just teasing me for like 10 hours. Um, what do we think about this color combination today? I was trying to honor my house while also coming up with some new layering. I like the uh, mesh top, it's from Nasty Gal. It like goes with my hair but the shirt kind of has this pop. I think it actually kind of looks nice together. I don't know though. This is like a bold choice for me. I just put it on and I was like, yeah? I'm excited to add more pieces that let me go, yeah? To my wardrobe when I'm putting on an outfit. All right, let's go through these. Um, I know there's a note, but I'm gonna open this first piece. Ooh, it's a tank top. It's very like almost Renaissance fair, like embroidery but with like a tie-dye print. It's like a very soft material, very stretchy. I actually think this is gonna look really cool. It's a size large, perfect. Like definitely looks like it's gonna fit me. Very like 90s aesthetic, really cool piece. I'm excited about this one. This is the thing that was like peeking out at me, so I don't know what it is, but I was like, oh my God, what is this? Okay, oh, it's a dress. Seems a little small, but like stretchy. What size is it? Ooh, it's a size 10. It's like that mesh kind of viscose material that's kind of like popular in like Zara and like H&M. It seems a little short, but a size 10 is curious to me. I wonder if this would make like a good top. One thing I'll say to just like general mystery box people, if you're styling mystery boxes and you're styling from someone who is like a slightly larger size than you or in the like 10 to 14 area, I probably get these measure, like the measurements stretch to my measurements and that's great, but the style is, a, it's a size 10 for a reason because I think the style is to be a little more like droopy. I love when things fit me, but I'd be happier if they like fit me how they're supposed to. Like I don't like squeezing into anything. I don't think a lot of people my size like to feel like something is too tight on them. I want to keep that in mind. It's a gorgeous piece and it's cool and I'm glad it's here and I think I'll definitely like make this into something. Look at that print, you guys. It's really pretty. Very Slytherin, come on. So far she's like nailing it. Shorts, skirt? It's a skirt. Oh dear. I don't think that'll fit my thigh. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna fit me. It's a large. I did give her like my specific measurements. So I'm curious, let me see my measuring tape. Waist is 14 and a half and stretches to about 19 which technically should fit around my waist but these hips yeah the hips are 20 inches which is a 40 hip and i definitely have a 40 plus inch hip yeah and it never gets above a 21. this definitely won't fit me if you're a depop seller have have one of these this is very helpful I think I can sell this on my Depop store. It's a cute skirt. It's like, I don't hate the style. Like, I wish this fit me. I hope this feedback is helpful to her. I think she subscribes to my channel, so. Hi, Frosted Gemstones. Um, so far, things are cool. Not hating, just, you know, us big girls, we need some room, that's all. So far, these are beautiful. All of these are like really good quality. And the last mystery Depop bundle, I won't say it was like bad, it was $100 and this one was $50. I forgot to say that. This one was $50, it's like half the price and I'm basically getting the same amount of stuff and like all clothes, which is dope. This next thing, ooh, velvety. What's this? Ooh, a shirt. It's kind of like grayish black, like silver. I don't know how I would style this. Like what, what do I wear this with? It's cool. It's definitely something I'm gonna keep and it definitely looks like it's gonna fit me. I gotta figure this one out. And like, I will say all of these clothes, like there's no stains on them. Like last time there was that dress with a stain on the back. So, so far, like this is a really good Mystery Depop bundle. And if you are interested, definitely go to her page and check out other bundles she has, cause she has a ton. I think there's one more thing, which is like, wow. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Ooh, it's black and sequenced. Whoa, whoa, pants, whoa. What? Oh, I hope these fit me. Y'all, I'm planning something for my next 
style outfit inspo lookbook and these would be perfect if they fit me. Oh. Okay, I could never, <laughs> I will never wear these outside like as a legit outfit, but I will wear these for photo shoots and I will wear these for lookbooks. I don't think I can pull it off. <laughs> But they're cool and it's exactly what I asked for, statement pants. Whoa, these are pretty dope. They have like a slight flare. This has been a really good Depop bundle. Two things won't fit me. Well, one thing won't fit me for sure. And so far everything is cool. There is a note. You guys, this is what I love, the details. The details, it's just, look at that. Mm. She's gonna get five stars for sure. I just want her to hear me about the sizing. That's all, I just wanna be heard. I just want to be heard. Marcel, you have been tagged by the Ministry of Magic to be in need of a new box of house-related weekend items for both parties. You may attend with your magical contemporaries or weekends with your school chums. Either way, please accept this box from Wizarding Fashion Betterment Society, which is an effort between Hogwarts and MOM to bring our school into a more modern era. As professor of fashion culture, I bring forth your Slytherin-themed parcel, and then she lists all the pieces. The Velvet Tea. Slytherins look fabulous all the time, true, but sometimes you just need a little extra to wear while studying for Snape's potion lectures. Wear a pair of muggle jeans for casual or a skirt for fancy. This is a very versatile piece. I'm not gonna read them all because they're like very detailed but if you want to pause it I'll just but I also think like get one of your own because this is I'm gonna hang this on my inspo board this is very cool man girl oh my god she also wrote me <laughs> she wrote me and says to a new Slytherin I'm not gonna read this whole thing but it's a really sweet personalized letter which like warms my absolute heart about finding out that you're Slytherin <laughs> But I'm gonna read the last paragraph. Being a Slytherin is not the death of creativity, knowledge, loyalty, or companionship. It is merely holding your own goals as the most important thing, which I don't see as a bad thing or mean that you're a jerk. I hope you learn to love this house too. Love, Lexi. Obviously, I just wanna say JK Rowling, just right off the bat, but this was like a really heartwarming letter. And this universe, I see its value and like what it's done for people who I love and how it's made them feel a part of something. So I truly admire that, that these people have all been able to find each other through books, which is just, beautiful um, and I love these pieces I'm so excited to style them so I am gonna get into styling them right now um they fit <laughs> wow yeah I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear these in public but they're fire there's like a panty in them put them with this boot and this bag wow I feel very cool. <laughs> All right, let me know what you guys think about this. Where would you wear this out? If you have these pants, where would you wear them? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna switch to the next look. Okay, this is that shirt that I wasn't sure really how to work it. I'm still like not fully convinced I can like incorporate this every day. It's just like, I'm not, I don't gravitate towards black or silver or gray. But I liked pairing it with this zebra print mesh top from Nasty Gal. And I've been doing this thing lately where I've been tucking the bottom of my shirt under into my bra. Because I feel like it just gives a way better tuck than like tucking it into your pants. And then you can get that like crop moment. I'm definitely gonna keep it because I feel like it's just one of those things you gotta keep. It's very soft, fits perfect. What would you pair this with? Let me know in the comments, like if you could pair this with anything else other than like black or gray or white. Let me know what you think on this one. Okay, so something crazy happened. Now, the skirt does not fit me, but it is on my body. So I take back a little, she's only a little bit off. If anyone wants it, DM me. Maybe we can work out a deal. Okay, but now this top, it's super cute. It's a little long. I did like tie a little knot in the back. This is a little more cinchy, but it's very stretchy. It's very like 90s, cool girl. What do you guys think? It's really pretty. You can wear this with like many shades of green. It's got some attitude. I like it. This is a cute outfit. You'll be seeing this outfit. Also, check my weapons. Okay. Next one is the last one and it is the snake top. That is a dress that I think I'm gonna make into a top. So just to show you guys how short this is. <laughs> it doesn't cover my butt. I don't wanna get flagged, so I'm not gonna show you the full back. I think it's such a pretty color on me. I'm definitely gonna crop it. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna crop it and then come back and pair it with a pair of pants. 
So I measured the dress on my body to where I wanted it and it was 21 inches down so I laid out my tape measure and started cutting. Obviously I sped it up, I'm cutting a lot slower than this, it's a really tough material to get perfect. But this is where I kind of mess it up and you will see when I have it on that it is a little questionable. Okay, that's a cute little crop. It definitely didn't do like straight across like I thought. Why is it straight in the back but not in the front? I can see myself layering like maybe a dress over it or like a camisole or something. But it actually looks really good with this outfit too, just like a little hint of tummy. I guess if I was going to do this again, I would have cut a little like swoopier in the front for some reason or lined up the front a little bit better. It's not that bad. Okay. So all in all, this was a pretty good haul. $50 and basically everything fit me except for one thing, sort of, and I can sell it because it's a pretty quality item. Definitely go buy from this girl. She has tons of mystery boxes and I'll probably be buying another mystery box from her and just being like a little more specific about what I want in bottoms. Honestly, she's so nice. She was kept me up to date every step of the way really cool girl shout out to you for being awesome and thank you guys so much for watching yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments and i forgot to say this at the beginning but definitely follow me on instagram it's marcel da and subscribe here turn on the notifications if you like i have tons of different types of videos if you like skincare beauty stuff i do that stuff too also check out my first model blog i just posted it a couple days ago so uh, let me know what you think if you want me to do any more of those or if you want me to just stick to these types of videos i'm down to hear the feedback i'm not precious about this stuff so let me know all right bye cutie